Okay, so we just got here with Ro, and she, it's been what, I think two months about? Yeah, a little over two months. A little over two months, and it still looks so bomb. I didn't you know can't. how fast hair yeah, grows. Literally, your hair grows so fast, but it still blends perfect. Yeah, and it like, still looks good. Yeah, and you can see it's grown out like two inches. fabulous care of their hair like there's no mat like it's literally perfection I get it. there's no matting it looks perfect they're gonna just come out so easy and it's gonna be just so easy so Brid and Cindy are going to just take them out super fast it literally takes five minutes at the most and maybe ten mm -hmm. but, um, and all we do is we loosen up the bead like, as you can see, they're just loosening up that bead just a little bit all around, and the weft literally just comes right out. Like, it's so easy. I feel like we have done extensions for literally so long. We've tried every kind possible. I didn't see their hair getting better. And to me, like, I just, I, I wouldn't want something on my hair that is making it worse every time. So, I personally think this is the best method, best method that we found so far. So their hair still grows good and it's not a lot of tension. So I feel like in that sense, like it's just so much easier on the hair and it's not super heavy and it's not pulling. So and it's really easy to come out and they just wiggle that out and then we'll take the next row out and then we'll show you how we put the beads in. Now her first row of beads are in. And you can see like how it lays super flat and there's like no tension on her scalp and her scalp's not red or anything. So you can see how that looks. And then after they do the bead work and that, then Britt and Cindy are gonna come in and they're gonna put the hair on. Now, sometimes people don't know if they want 18s or 22s. Come on ladies. This is the perfect time for you to do two different lengths on each side oh. and show her and be like, okay. And also you can mix the colors too. And you can be like, okay, what color do you like best? After we clip it in, we're not gonna clip it perfect or anything yet because we're obviously deciding what color she wants, but then we're gonna put her hair down and she can stand up like right in front of the mirror and she can look at it and be like, okay, I have like this better, this better, and we can tweak it a little bit. But it's, it's so great to be able to have options before they sew it all in and it's permanently stuck to her head. Yeah, I love this. Is it, whoa, I how that. long this looks See, on little me. I know, I think this is the one we did. Because I'm sure. such a little nugget. Mm -hmm. It looks way longer like on me. Literally to your ankles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's probably yeah, my ankle. This is the color we did last time. Can you stand up? Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. But like, see. But like, this color is a little longer. So pretty. I know. It's really pretty. It's like Rapunzel. Should we? I'm like a mini Rapunzel. Like we could do a little one. We could do. We could do braids down your back. To your ankles. Mini. Like, Mini Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel. Oh, oh. <laughs> so now we have her beads all in. We picked the color. And now the girls are just going in and they're just sewing that hair right on to the string. Um, it's not like super tight, but it's, it's enough to where it's not going to slip off and fall. So they're just going around and making sure that they're attaching all the wefts to that string. So now we're on the second row and we sectioned it off and we, you want to make sure with the second row that if, especially if the hair is fine, they have enough hair to go over the bead in the row. So this is our second row, beads are in. And now we're deciding, same thing, on what color to do on the top row. Layering the colors is so important because 
it can be like a drastic difference. Like if you pick one color on top of the other, it can be, it can just make the biggest difference ever. So Britt and Cindy are gonna come over and they're going to do one side a little bit different than the other. They're the same colors. They're two different whites with two different colors, but each side they're putting on is the same color, but one's flop. So one's a little brighter on the top than the bottom. So it's so crazy like what a difference it can make like just flipping the colors. So we are just gonna see what we like better. Now they're just gonna clip that on and sew that in and then we'll start coloring her hair. Okay, so now her extensions are in and she's a new woman. Yeah. And then now we're just gonna color the root of the extensions first so you don't have to go back through and color it when there's a million foils in her head. And then after that, we're gonna start baby lighting it with Ooh. two wide volume boxes here. And then we're gonna go back through and we're going to uh, tease out ends also. But then we're gonna also try to bring a lot of her natural through too because they bumped her base for so long that she doesn't have a lot of dimension mm -hmm. because they, she has none of her natural color left because they bumped her base and that is what causes a lot of brassiness. And so we're gonna get rid of all of that and we're gonna show you how to do it. Yeah, goodbye brass. Yeah, say bye. Bye. Say bye bye to the brass. That's all I love me with is brass. <laughs> volume off the here yeah. and we are just baby lighting her and we are just gonna go to town here and sorry, my bad. and we're just gonna take super small super fine sections because we want it to lift super good and fast so it, it's not on her hair super long and we just want it to look really natural and we want it to like I mean for two and a half months like it grew out pretty dang good mm -hmm. and so we want it to keep doing that and we want it to even look better as it grows out than this and so we want it to look super natural and I don't want it to have to get it done all the time and have a big huge black line when it grows in I want it to like fade in and look super natural um, you can see that she has the prettiest natural color right here. It's so pretty. And then it gets a little brassy as it comes down just from when they used to bump her root color. So we're just going to take 7NA and 6NA and we're going to go in between her foils. And we're just going to just cover that brassy part just so it looks more blended and it doesn't come back and try to haunt us again. So we're just gonna go through and we're using Redkin Shade. Um, we love Redkin Shade because it's so healthy for their hair. It's actually like conditioning and it makes it so shiny. So, and also it makes it, it just deposits so it's not gonna lift and be that brownsy color again. And then I'm gonna have Britt come over and she is going to do a few little low lights in there to give her dimension. Um, nothing too crazy. I feel like we'll start at the bottom and we'll go between every two or three. We'll switch it up. Okay, so now we're gonna do work on her money piece. We're taking a V section in the front and we're gonna start with this side right here. And we're gonna do super small little baby light guys. And this is just gonna make her have a little bit of a pop piece because we want it to be extra poppy. Yay! And we're going to just really finely just weave them super small. And so they're back to back almost like almost like it's like a slice but it's not and we're gonna probably do 
like five in a row and then we're gonna go to the other side and we're going to do five in a row on that side and then we'll start weaving it normal. Now, oh, better. she's gonna go back through and she's gonna tease out to make her ends a little brighter and get rid of the brass as well. So we're just using 30 and off to here. And we're just gonna tease those ends out a little bit. going and we're doing the same thing we're just going through the top in between her foils with 7NA 6NA Redken shades and we're just as you can see Lauren's just like feathering it down and she is just making sure that we're getting rid of all the brassiness and then we're going back, gonna go back through, and we're gonna start on this side right here, and we're gonna do low lights again. Just three fourths down between every two or three, and then we're gonna tease out ends, and then she's gonna process for probably just like 10 minutes or so, and then she'll be done, and we'll start toning her up. process but before we start the toning process it's so important to use the right shampoo and conditioner because you want your toners to stay and you don't want them to just run right off if your client has tons of buildup on their hair it's just gonna run right off and they're like why did my hair not stay icy why did it not say this because you're not using good shampoo so it can't suck to your hair so her hair is really fine so we are going to use Living Proof Full Shampoo, and we're gonna wash her hair, all the top of her hair that's not her extension. We're gonna wash that first. We're gonna let that sit, and we're gonna use Isles. We're gonna use Isles shampoo on her extensions because it's gonna make them, it's a little more moisturizing, it's gonna make them really soft. And then we're going to wash it twice, rinse that, and then we're gonna show you how to tone. Okay, so now as you can see, just like old color and stuff, like it doesn't lift evenly. Pretty soon it will lift evenly, but as of now, it lifts different colors because some of her hair is processed, has color on it, and some isn't. So obviously it's gonna lighten in different stages. So now we're gonna go back and we're going to um, tone the root with 7N, 7NA. And we're just gonna let that sit on for a little bit. We're doing a, like a half inch. And then we're gonna go back through and we're gonna do a different color on her midsection Sorry. and a different color on her end. Okay, so now we are gonna tone the midsection with nine and nine GB. Let that sit. And then, as you can see, like her extensions are a little bit wider than her ends. So these are a tiny bit more warm. So we're gonna tone this with 10 BS Goldwell Colorant. And then we're gonna tone this with 9 GB Redken Shade. So this takes a little bit, so we're just gonna let that sit and watch it until it's ready while she sits on her bomb.com bomb.com to get her through the process. Now we're going to 
gonna start blow drying and one of the main important things about blow drying is product to use. We don't over product for sure because then it makes it heavy and flat, especially fine hair, but you definitely wanna give it some texture. So we love this Milbon spray and it's just a volumizing mist. We don't use a ton. We'll just use like a little bit on her root area, nothing crazy, but just a few little sprays, maybe like one just for good luck in the back. And then, and then a few on her sides. And then we're gonna use, good. doesn't that smell good, that candy? Ooh, it smells really good. And then we want to keep her extensions really moisturized. Not overly moisturized, but this is, it has no thing on it because it's the tester, but it's Isles, um, what is it called, guys? It's like, it's number, it's number it's four. Curl. Yeah, it's this curl something, but it, it, which is, which, the name of it is kind of weird. It's like curl revive, but it's not, it doesn't revive curls. It like, it's like a leave-in like conditioner, but it's not like super heavy, but it makes it so shiny, it's the bomb. So we spray a little of that, and that is it. We're gonna brush it all in together with a wet dry brush and then start blow drying her up.